Hi everyone. All right, this is the trellis I was talking about painting. Um, yeah, a lot of this stuff is this overgrown grapevine that I don't want over there. It was uh, nothing that I planted over there. So there's a lot of cutting to be done and it's way easier to do before everything sprouts. I have stuff that grows on here that I obviously want to give a better chance to grow. And I want to paint this, so let's see if I can get this done. It's pretty cold though. So here in Ohio, we can't go outside. I mean, we can't, uh, we have to, we had a, we have a shelter in place order. So hopefully that means I can get some of the chores done that I usually don't have time to do. Um, I'm still working though, which is I'm very grateful for uh, the fact that I can do my job in on a computer. So how long? Who knows, you know? Who knows that that's going to be what's going to happen. There's a lot of uncertainty in these times. But if I keep myself busy, um, it, it'll go a lot better. And I have the company of you guys. I like to bake too, but uh, me and Leanne live together. She has taken over the kitchen, but for a long time I was, uh, I baked quite a bit. But if you guys haven't seen our dumpster cakes that Leanne have been, has been making, check them out. Because we're very grateful for that score. We gave some away to the the uh, place that delivers, the church that delivers food to people or, or passes it out. So but we kept a lot and we gave a lot to our neighbors. And that stuff is so much better than the packaged stuff when it's fresh made, don't you think? Real bakery that you make at home. Leanne's learning how to bake uh, white bread because we got all that flour. We don't normally like white bread, but it's less times we have to go outside. Lady's out here. She's got a pretty big uh, mammary tumor. Uh, that's what I have that thing on her. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's kind of like a bra that keeps it in place. The vet, the vet told us when we first, uh, when we first noticed it, you know, not to do any, not to operate on it, and kind of wishing that we had because, you know, it's hard to even take her for walks because it gets scraped, it starts bleeding, and when it starts bleeding. A lot of blood comes out, so. But I definitely miss dumpster diving and scrapping. But this definitely has to get done because I want my garden to look very, very nice this year. And we'll see what color that paint is when we get to that point. Okay, I got this on here now. This is a really old um, rose bush. 
It only blooms once a year, so I'm not going to trim that. <laughs> this trellis has been here a long time. I rebuilt it once. Uh, I think my one of my uncles rebuilt it once and the original was built by another one of my uncles. Many years ago before I was born. So this trellis has been here a long time. And I know, I got a lot of, this used to be a really beautiful garden, but I started collecting stuff. I'm also going to be building a bridge. So I was collecting wood and I'm building a fence. Since this is a blog about scrapping, and dumpster diving, new ways to make money. Um, because I haven't been able to go out scrapping. We haven't been making movies because those are my favorite movies to make, the scrapping and the dumpster diving movies. And I know you guys love them too, but I really can't go out now because of our stay at home order and or shelter in place order here in Ohio. And, uh, I'm just trying to say safe, and I'm trying to say well. Um, so I've been working on this trellis back here, like you guys can see. And uh, so I'll show you so far what I did. So this is where we are now. Um, it's been raining a lot here. We had a flash flood warning. So I haven't been able to start painting. Because uh, I need at least eight hours of time for the first coat, coat to dry. And I don't think I'm going to get eight hours of dry time yet. <sighs> but I have a lot of other work to do. We've accumulated a lot of junk over our last year of super scrapping. We scrapped before, but because of the videos, we make a lot more. Hi, lady. So let's take a look inside the garage and see... Uh, all the junk we have and maybe go through that and see what we can get rid of. Okay, here's our menagerie of junk that we have in here that we've collected. Some of it is legitimate stuff that we want to sell at the flea market. Um, like I said, it's rained a lot, so it's not waterproof in here. I don't know if you guys could even see that. But we got a lot of stuff. Um, I need to go through this area and see what we can keep and what we we don't need and at least try to get it together right because it's really a mess and I have the time
Okay, guys, this is what I did. I created this little area in here, which is where we're going to keep all our all our stuff that we want to sell to the flea market and elsewhere. I don't know if you can even see that. This is my little scrapping area. All that stuff is going to be scrapped. That's Leanne's bike. I wanted to be for her to be able to get it out. She wants to go riding. So we'll move that. It's not that much better, but it's a little bit better considering all the stuff we have. All right. It looks a little bit better. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> a little bit better. All right, talk to you later. Okay, guys, I think it's I think it's going to be warm enough to do some painting, so I have it all prepped. Um and now we're just going to look and see what kind of paint we have and what colors we got from the garbage. All right. These are the paints I got. We got some enamel I'm kind of hoping to use that all surface acrylic enamel. This is oil based. We don't want to mix those. Oil based. Deep base. Resilience. Let's see, is this. latex this is also latex um, we have the most of this and this so if we have more than that I might start with that because you can put a uh, black you can put the the, the uh, oil on top of a latex not the other way around I believe so let's see what this looks like I don't think this is good anymore guys it's all hardened up Hi, yeah I don't think this is gonna be good yeah, so okay. yeah mm -hmm. it's all hardened up oh, well. all right well this one's not but I haven't checked them all oh, I made it home alive I don't know if they can see you or not oh. Here, hold on. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I ran out into the real world for a minute. Get some pop and oh, the dishwasher. Oh, no. The dishwasher. Oh, well. Um, I got a pair of pants that fit, hopefully. Oh, good. And, uh, There's cops that uh, have the whole street blocked up by Family Dollar. Because I wasn't going to go to Dollar General because it looked like it was too crowded. So I went up to Family Dollar and cops have the whole street. Of it. Louder! I heard you. I mean, I got the signal. The cops had the whole street blocked up by Family Dollar. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right. I, why do you think that was? I don't know, but they had it blocked off on one end and then I tried to go around the block and they had it blocked off on the other end and about three cop cars in between. So they got the whole street shut down. Something going on there. Huh. Maybe domestic violence. All right. Now let's check this out. There seems like there's a lot in here too, but I'm pretty sure this is black. So I don't even know if I want to use that.
Well, this one seems okay, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we're all going to like having a, a black trellis. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with this since it's a base and it's for metal. Um, I don't think I'm going to have enough black to do two coats on both sides, so I don't know. I think I'm going to start with this gray. See how far I get with that. Okay? All right. darkest color I've ever painted it. Might be interesting, who knows. At least we're using the paint, right? at least 50 degrees. That's why it took me so long. It's been pretty cold here.
That's all right. I, I mean, mean, it'll be something different. I've never had a black trellis before, so. Let's see what happens. Yeah, this is going to look crazy, I, very weird, but hey, we're using the paint. Yay. Yeah. Repurposing. Just kidding everybody, don't be scared, children, it's not the end of the world. Are you going to sit here and strip? I know I'm going to sit right here. Is that where you want me to sit? I don't know, I was just going to, I was going to put it over there so they could see us from that angle. Oh, okay. Then that, this is a good place because it's a sunny spot. I like to sit in the sunny spot when I'm out here. If I mentioned this about how uh, I had a dream about scrapping, I can't even remember what I recorded now. So obviously, I I miss it. Still having dreams about it. And you know what? I don't even know. I don't know when the next time is I'm going to be able to scrap. Um, I mean, I'm scared. I know lots of other people don't seem to be scared. Some other parts of the country are more affected than others, so this might change. This is going to change everything for everyone. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. So, hopefully. I mean, I was just, we were just getting into it. We just finally got, you know, over 5,000 subscribers. We were starting to make a little bit of money off of the ad, so it's disappointing, but uh, <laughs> it's out of my hands, you know. I was just saying how much I missed scrapping, and I don't know when I'll be able to do it again. To what extent, you know? Well, we may have a big hoard when we're done just from our own stuff. This is all over, if it's ever all over. But we do miss you guys. So we're trying to come up with things to do that you will enjoy doing with us. We know you guys miss us. We've heard from you. Um, on my photo posts that I put on the community page. 
Oh, someone even came on a video, or one of our latest videos, and said, all right, when's the next video already? <laughs> We're coming. We just have to think of stuff that's uh, scrap related. But at some point we're not. We're just gonna we're just gonna come on and do whatever we yes. do. Yes. Because uh, you know, that's YouTube. We still have to maintain the viewers. So view us. That's right. Whatever we do. Try to keep viewing us. I know you guys like the, the dumpster diving and the scrapping, but like I said, we it's don't know dangerous. how safe it is or how moral it is or or whether we would get uh, criticized or in trouble. Yeah, we could get, you know, we could get arrested. We don't even know what to fined, do. Or uh, fined for not following the order to stay Personally, home. I think that dumpster food is just as safe as grocery store food. In fact, if we're getting it out of the dumpster, we're less inclined to run into other people. That's true. But you don't know why it was thrown in the dumpster. Like not too recently, we never a grocery know. store had to empty, had to throw out thirty thousand dollars worth of food because somebody was coughing on it as a prank. I don't know if it was. It, no, I thought. That. I think she had some kind of mental illness. But anyway. Um. So. I think that might have been a little excessive, since anything in packages can be wiped down, and anything that's not can be washed or boiled. But I don't know. You know? I just don't know. I know that it can live on metal for like 10 days, I believe. That's what scares me, you know? Everything scares me. Yeah, it's scary out there, guys. Be careful. Cover your mouth. Cover your face. You don't know whether you have it. You could be spreading it to other people. But... There's a lot of sadness, too. People that are alone in hospitals that can't are visit. suffering and you can't be with them. You know, they're dying, dying. they can't say goodbye to their family. You can't even have funerals. I mean, it's hard. It's hard. It's not a good time. Never but seen nothing like it, for sure. Nobody has. But, yeah, I'm trying to make the best of things and stay positive. They're still kicking, there's still a fighting chance. That's right. Try to stay uh, healthy. Eat a lot of green foods, less processed foods. Get some exercise. Keep your immune system going. Have some elderberries. That's supposed to be really good. I drink at least two cups of green tea every day, trying to do whatever I can. And a couple beers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink the beers. For the, the anesthetic. Tea. But Just give me a vitamin every day. That's right. I'm trying to help do my best to keep my Your family mom, safe. Wash my hands every ten minutes and not to touch my face. So we hope you guys are too. Just stay inside if you can. Um, and it will be coming. It, it. I know some states did nothing, and now they have more cases than Ohio. Way less population. I've been monitoring Tennessee because they didn't do anything. And they don't have the population that we do here, and they have more cases now. So I don't mean to criticize, but it, this is not something, you know, it's not a joke. <laughs> people dying is not a joke. And I think it's important to thank the people who are out there doing the jobs like the grocery stores and the yes, fast food restaurants. the truck drivers. Because those are scary things. You're, you're out in the public. The nurses, the life. doctors. Oh my God, the nurses and the doctors especially. But even the people that just keep you going every That's day. That's right. The grocery store workers. People, the at, people the at the gas food, station. Who don't get paid very much to do what they do and never did. But they, they are necessary. Money, they got to work and they're out there and they're keeping us going because at least I can go get my pop and cigarettes and I can go get myself something from a fast food drive through once in a while. Because I know it sounds stupid, but those are things that are important. Kept me sane. We're trying to be upbeat, guys, <laughs> but it's hard. <laughs> I enjoy painting though, so 
Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Well, 
<laughs> that is quite understandable. <laughs> you can't let the baby cook. That's what mom said. <laughs> At least one of them didn't put the baby in the microwave. Yes, it could have been way worse. She's a toddler. It would be hard, hard to get her in there. Not impossible. Don't try it. Travis, if you're visiting, Travis is a cousin. Don't try it. It's a little hard. I've been getting to know the lizard way more. Oh, yes. They're bonded. Yes. I've he been feeding right from, by hand. from his hand. From my hand. He likes to snuggle with her. He stares at her all the time. Because <laughs> my chair is close to him. It's so funny though, when she was still going to work, like the dog and the cat always would look for her at, at one o'clock when she would come out, right? They would rush to the back door. Well, the lizard started doing that because his cage is near the back door. So he would run to the part of the enclosure where he could look out the back door. And then if she was late, one time she didn't come home until 2.30 because she had to stop and go do some other things. The cat, the dog, and the lizard kept running back to the door, look out in the driveway, then go back and look in her chair. All three of them. It was insane. That's right. The animals bond to her like her old dog. My God. <laughs> she would tear the door down if Michelle left her. First time she came to visit my house, we had to repair my front door, a thick wooden door. She scratched because trying the dog scratches so bad she almost put a hole right through it. Awful. I had to mix paint to try to fill in the scratches. We left her at home for a few hours without her Michelle. She could not take it. She was a shepherd mix, and they're, they're prone to anxiety, I think. <laughs> I think she just picked up because she was so old. Michelle had her for 16 years. Yeah, it was. it's hard to go through changes like, like that. Michelle has a lot of anxiety, so the yeah, dog picked up hers. Yeah, she have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> Football. <laughs> this was a big dog. If she would even see football on TV, even after she couldn't hear anymore, she would see there was football on TV, she would jump up on the couch, get behind me, and put her paws up on my shoulder and hide because Michelle gets so excited when she watches football. <laughs> oh man, she was so scared of football. I would put it on. I would put it on and uh, turn the volume off. Because if she heard the sound of the <laughs> of the people screaming in the background, she instantly she would get knew upset and would get scared. Yeah. But even after she went deaf, as soon as she saw that that's what was on TV, she would jump up to hide. And she was not a big baby. She would kill me for a fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but she hid behind me and put her paws on my shoulder. Yep. There's a lot of screaming involved <laughs> when you're a Browns fan. <laughs> screaming and crying. That's right. <laughs> but she never gives up on them. Every year she loves them again. Yeah, I saw that they canceled the Wimbledon. Wimbledon, I mean. That was it Sorry. sounds fancier when you put a T in it. <laughs> People were saying they were surprised they didn't do it earlier. Um, everyone's hoping they can wait long enough. But it's going to be, be weird. Long long. I think it looks pretty good, shining in the sun. Well, that's the first thing. It ain't done yet. We'll see.
I am going to be planning to do this in case I don't need a first day thing. Yeah, this is, she can't handle it. My cousin's having a big birthday celebration. And we haven't seen her for a while. She's at Pontiac Hotel, which we wanted to do our haunted, because it's the most ha supposed to be the most haunted hotel, Connie Lake Park Hotel, the most haunted hotel in Pennsylvania. So we were looking forward to going there and to see her cousin Nita because she recently moved out that way and we haven't seen her in a long time and she's kind of like an aunt to Michelle because she's like a generation older and she's just a sweetheart but and she's had a lot of health problems so I worry about her out there and we're not gonna probably get to do that because that was when June was who knows the beginning of June I'm probably not even talking loud enough to the mic play over there. You'll just hear me going. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Unless you're good with controlling your volume. I'm not, and I forget. Usually Michelle tells me I'm yelling at her. <laughs> but when I'm on camera, Believe me, she's I'm not whispering. Soft, real world. <laughs> I can get loud sometimes, but I think they're louder. Most of the time, when I'm loud though, it's not when I'm mad, it's when I'm excited. I have to be real mad to be loud and mad. Otherwise, I just walk away and cry. I'm an angry crier. I'm a crier over everything. I'm a happy crier, I'm a sad crier, I'm an angry crier. I'm a town crier. <laughs> These are for crying out loud. It's looking good. It's looking painted. <laughs> Right, they get crushed up real small. It would take 
forensic scientists with sieves. And then they'd have to know which pile of crap he was in. Exactly. She didn't have just one tiger. And all kinds of big cats. And a meat grinder that his hand clearly would not have fit in. <laughs> Does anybody have a favorite character? Mine was Saf, the girl that lost the arm. Or the person that lost the arm. Mine was the boy, the husband that uh, accidentally shot himself. Oh yeah, the cute one. Yeah, he was cute. <laughs> I like the guy with the long straight hair too. They're all the wild The guy with characters. the big legs? Oh yeah, he was pretty cool. They say Matthew McConaughey should play him. <laughs> they have the similar facial structure and the same voice. Okay, I'm back. Yay! From her little downtime. I tried to talk her into sitting here with me and having like coffee talk, but no, she has to be working at all times. I needed a downtime. <laughs> Off the camera. And what was it I said to her and me I wanted to talk to them about? Shameless. Oh, yes. Now that we... I'll take this opportunity to thank all you new subscribers, because there's been a lot of them. And since there are so many new, my old followers did not enjoy my favorite show, Shameless, on Showtime. You can also catch all the reruns on Netflix. But um, maybe some of you new people like Shameless. And that's another thing that is very upsetting to me right now, that the coming season is supposed to be the series finale. And I cannot imagine my life without Shameless now. I've been watching you. How long has it been on? 10 years? Not every day like I used to. Like, it was on my TV constantly, probably the first four seasons. But it's still my favorite show, and it makes me very sad to think of it ever ending. And I don't think it needs to. I, I mean, I don't know what their re Showtime's reasoning is, or maybe it's the actors don't want to do it anymore or whatever. But because it's about a family, and they've had the next, the, the youngest kids are having kids now, not the very youngest, but the third to the youngest kid has already had a kid. The second oldest kid has had a kid. The oldest kid could have had a kid. The third oldest had a stepkid that disappeared somewhere. There's enough new generations of Gallaghers that this could go on forever. I'm sure, well, the UK version of Shameless ended before this one. Maybe, maybe at the 11th season, I don't know. But. The real people that the story was based on, Paul Abbott is the creator and a genius and a wonderful writer <laughs> from the UK. And his family is still alive and they're probably still doing wild and crazy things. So the, the Gallagher's of Shameless Fame US version could do the same. I'm really hoping they don't kill off Bill Macy's character. I See, I can't even talk about this without crying. <laughs> She's lying. She, she brings it up just to torture me. <laughs> it's the last season of Shame. For the last three years, she's been going, I bet this is going to be the last season. Just, just to make me upset. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. Tiny bit just to torture me. And she enjoys the show, too, just not. Yes, I watched it. It's good. I'm not obsessed with it. Obsessed with it as I am, but I have my reasons which some of you know more about than others, depending on how much you talk to me in the comments. And someday soon, when I have my own new channel called Sally's Girl, which is gonna be my memoir of the story that I'm writing called Hole in My Sky. But the channel's gonna be called Sally's Girl, so start looking out for that. I'll let you know. We'll let you know when it's available. But um, I just don't want Shameless to end just how I feel and I think this would be great to see how Gallagher's deal with well they already 
sheltered, uh, sheltering in place so with each other. It, so I don't well, know they, they're going to add that right, part in. Well, it probably won't be able to because they've already well, probably they, filmed. It's not done. They had to stop. Right. So who knows? But I'm hoping that they change their mind and bring back Shameless after the, the coming season, if they ever get to finish this season. But, um, because I really want to know how the, the Gallaghers deal with COVID-19. And if you don't know, the Gallaghers are a family mostly of children. Um, the, pa the parents, the dad is still, he, that's the character Bill Macy plays, is the alcoholic father. And his wife was, um, she, had, she was bipolar and a substance abuser and she died a few seasons back, maybe two seasons ago. No, not more than two seasons ago, a season or two ago. She died, but the patriarch of the family, the alcoholic dad is still living. The oldest daughter has now moved away. She raised most of them from children and they've been raised, helping raise each other since they were all small children. The youngest, um, for sure, well, the youngest of the brothers and sisters that were raised together. We don't know how many kids Frank really has out there. But the youngest of the kids that were raised together in the house since season one um, is now like 10 or 11. And so he's just starting to get into some good role, good situation. But there's plenty, plenty more they can do. Like, the third youngest sister, Debbie, is now taking over for Fiona, who was the oldest sister who raises the family. And she's kind of taking care of everyone, even though she has a baby of her own now. It could continue on from there. I love a Jeremy Allen White who plays the oldest brother Lip. And of course I love Noel Fisher who plays Mickey, the gay brother's boyfriend, and, and Cameron uh, who plays Ian the Cameron Monaco who plays Ian the gay brother. And that's what Ian and Lip were the reasons I really got hooked on it at the beginning, but now I just love them all so much. They're like my family in more ways than one. And uh, I just want to know if any of you out there are shameless fans and what you think about them. Is there any show where you feel Yes, and what are your favorite shows? You, if, you know, you could live with Autumn or they're part of your family. Right. What the heck? <laughs> oh, it's a little woodpecker with a red head and his mate. Okay guys, we're on the home stretch now. <sighs> yeah, it's starting to get a little bit, a little bit viscous. A little bit what? Viscous. Viscous? The viscosity. Starting to be like molasses in January. No, it's old paint too, so I might not have mixed it as well as I could have. But okay, I ran out of space on my SD card, but <laughs> we finished, or I finished it, the first primer coat. Deer over there. Hi, deer. They were just walking through and we didn't even notice them. So, what do you guys think? It's going to be black. The color is beautiful. Black is beautiful. All right, guys. I hope you liked our little get together. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming along with my cleaning and my painting. Um, she did a good job, didn't she? She's the best. And if you'd like to hire her out after this is all over, I'm please not let available. me know. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Love you. Take See care, you everybody. Soon. We'll make please. another one real soon. Yeah, take we care. got lots of fun ideas. Stay inside. Watch, scrap it up. And give us more ideas if you have more <laughs> ideas. I'm going to do a baking one soon, too, as soon as we get the We're going to go on a bike ride, too, since we have a GoPro. 
we might as well just take the GoPro on a bike ride. Yes, I want to go down much farther in the park to where I originally, the first park walk I ever wanted to take you on, I wanted to go down there, but I never get that far before I get a bag full, and so we're going to take our bag, take our bikes all the way down, and then we start. Because I want you to see how beautiful it is around here. Bye-bye. Love you. Stay safe.